What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now about a month ago I uploaded the first of a new series I wanted to do called Back to Year One. Where I basically dug out the amazing Year One weapons from my vault, gave you guys gameplays on them and give you guys the Year Two equivalents. I started the series with a weapon called the 123 Synergy, which is my favourite PvP weapon still to this day. Obviously though we're not playing Trials or the Iron Banner as it's a Year One weapon and weapon level counts. It's basically a Year One version of the Grasp of Malak were a lot better in my opinion. Today's video is going to be based on another amazing Year 1 pulse rifle. It's called the 55A All Fate. This was originally a Vanguard weapon. Actually a weapon not many people used due to at the time this being an obtainable weapon. There were pulses such as the Messenger and the Hot Scotch Pilgrim which were dominant in PvP. But their time has gone and PvP now is at a stage where that faster fire pulse rifles are the way forward. This All Fate now when used in PvP in its current state is one of the best weapons I can ever remember getting a hold of. The fact it don't take an insane trigger finger to operate also helps its case. It's a part of the 6614 archetype of pulses. Now I truly think though that the roll I had drop on mine does indeed make it stand out from the crowd. Mine landed with Red Dot OAS, Rodeo, Hand Lead Stock and Reactive Reload which is a monster of a perk. When Reactive Reload is active it will do about 29 to the body and 38 to the head. Easily capable of two bursts in Guardians it really is and you can see it in action in the background now. Now the best thing about this weapon is that here in the year 2 there are many different pulse rifle variants within the 6614 archetype including a few exotics. So let's look at the ones I actually have. First up we have the Villainy, available from the future Warcult vendor in the tower. Role she has on hers isn't too bad either with Headseeker, Perfect Balance and Glass Half Full. Also the Vanguard vendor has the Apple of Discord, again a roll isn't that bad with Headseeker Counterbalance and Reinforced Barrel. Another one worth mentioning is the Suros PDX41. This weapon is available from the Gunsmithfield Arms Day packages, surely you've come across this weapon before. If you haven't, pick a package up and be patient for a great roll. I have seen many come and go. Another variant of this pulse rifle is the Nerwin's Mercy, the Iron Banner pulse rifle. This not too easy to get as it's only available when the Iron Banner event is here. I've had one for months not landing myself a decent roll on the last Iron Banner where the weapon was actually available to buy and it was dropping quite often. I still didn't get a decent roll one. But it is, if you do get a great roll, the weapon is murderous. Now there are two exotics that deliver the 6614 impact rate of fire. There are the No Time to Explain which are obtainable via a quest and there's also the Red Death. Now the Red Death is actually a 6615 with a little bit more of an impact. And the Red Death actually was a weapon that once stood tall in PvP and I do believe it could do it again. Having that little extra impact as well as the Red Death perk makes the Red Death a great choice in PvP for anyone wanting to try out the 66-14 archetype of push rifles. With the right setup obviously it can deal more damage. The last weapon I have which falls under this category of pulses is the Smite of Moraine. This is a raid weapon. Dropping with a variety of different perks. Mine has Cocoon, Hand Loaded and Firefly and it tears shit up in PvP. There used to actually be a time within PvP where this weapon classed as a 66 rate of fire pulse rifle was the only legendary in its archetype that could two burst headshot killing PvP. Like the Red Death, this weapon does indeed have an impact of 15. Slightly more than weapons such as the Nerwin's Mercy and the PDX-41 and capable of doing more damage in PvP with the right setup. Mentioning all these year 2 pulses though is kind of a disappointment as for me my all fate still stands above them all in this category and I'm still looking for a year 2 pulse rifle that can match it. The general feel of the weapon as well as its great roll make the weapon perfect for me. I do however have a PDX-41 which I am looking forward to trying out as soon as I level it up. It could be that very weapon that matches my all fate. Now there are all the 6614 pulses I have from year 2 but I do believe there are others. If you have one in mind which I haven't mentioned please let me know down below in that comment section what it is as like I said I'm still looking for that perfect year 2 6614 pulse rifle. 
Also guys, tell me down below what you think of this archetype of pulses. If you have a beastly no wins mercy or a PDX or any other pulse rifle that falls under this category and you use it a lot, let me know the role and let me know what you think about it down below in that comment section. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop on a like, I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys on that next one.